guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys a makeup tutorial and I wanted to do like a full glam summer makeup look and if I had to get super glam during the summertime which I haven't had to yet but if I did this is definitely the makeup look that I would do it's like a very taupey bright eye with a nude lip and honestly like a nude lip is something that I love all year round I usually never opt for bright pink Barbie lipsticks. It's just not like my style. So I try my best to do like a summer look that I think I would wear when I needed to be glam. So yeah, that was basically the inspiration behind this look. Just glam summer. I did like a bright eye and a very muted lip because that's just like my favorite type of look. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started with how I achieved this look. So I already have one eye done and my eyebrows done because I wanted to save us a little bit of time so we're gonna go ahead and do this eye I'm starting with this meat matte trimmings palette and I'm using the shade matte Evans this matte Evans color is just a very very light skin tone type color and I just think it's gonna allow all the other shadows to blend the way we want it to blend so I'm just packing that onto the brush and really just blending it into the crease now I'm gonna be using this other shade called matte Thomas and it's just like kind of a Barbie pink color and I'm gonna apply that in the crease as well just to get that transition color a little bit lighter and this is more of a pastel type color so again it's not really gonna show up on the skin but when it comes to the rest of the shadows it's really gonna help everything blend nicely now I'm gonna be using this makeup geek eyeshadow in petal pressure and I'm gonna place that on the crease as well this is gonna be our main transition color so I'm just gonna start blending that all into the crease and this is going to give us that nice taupe transition color as you can see we have that nice taupe transition color which really gives the eye some really good dimension now with the same matte trimini palette i'm going to be using this shade right here it's called matte kumar so i'm going to start applying it on the outer corner of the eye and then I'm gonna bring it into the transition color. I love how this creates like a red tone. I really wanted to do like a Barbie pink type of look, something that incorporated a little bit of pink, but I couldn't get myself to do it. I feel like I'm more of a cool tone taupe type of, I don't know, it's just like my preference. So I just went with what I felt was comfortable, but maybe one day I'll do pink. So I'm just blending out this shade with the original transition brush that we used. I really like the blend of this um, color because even though the shadows are very similar, they're just different tones, which I think makes the look so dimensional. I just love it. So now I'm gonna dig into another palette and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to be using this even darker red shade. I believe this is the shade Jack. So we're gonna start that on the outer part and then just begin to blend it inwards towards the crease. And then again, keep your blending brush handy so you can blend this all out. I really like this color, it's so rich. It like brings the look together. All right, so now comes the fun part and we're gonna go ahead and create a lid because my hooded lids don't have lids. So I'm literally just like creating a lid where I can put this bright shadow. So I'm gonna be using concealer. I'm using a super duper duper flat brush. That way it's easier to do strokes um, that are in the shape of a lid. So I like to start on the base to just kind of warm up <laughs> and then all I do is a quick little flick of the wrist. Okay, so I feel like that's a good enough crease. So now we're gonna go ahead and set that with some powder before we go in with the actual shade that we're gonna put on. Just a quick little tap so it gets a little bit tacky. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade Mocha and it's a very dark, rich chocolate shade. And I'm gonna use that to really darken out the outer part of the eye is like one of my favorite parts of this look is just that like blend on the outer part so nice and you can even bring it in 
but ultimately you just want that blend. And I'm gonna go in with that red shade again, Jax, to just kind of bring back to life that color. So for this inner part of the eye, I'm gonna be using this loose glitter and this is called Amber Rush. It's an eyeshadow from L'Oreal and it's like a classic. I used to use this all the time. This shadow is just a really nice like icy rose gold sort of. It has like a rose gold undertone but it's mostly on the silver side. So I'm gonna place that all on the area that we made that fake crease. And I like it because it's like a loose glitter so it looks a little bit more glam than a regular eyeshadow, which is the look that we're going for. We're going for that summer glam, something that you can wear out. I think it complements this look really nicely. Then I'm just gonna go in and just blend that out on the outer part. Now I'm using this white beige shade from the Matte Trimini palette, it's called Matte Lynn, and I'm placing that on the brow bone, just like this, to just clean up the look a little bit. And then I'm gonna use the original petal pusher shadow to just bring back my my blend. Now we're gonna move on to lashes. And I'm using this House of Lashes in the style Allura Light. They're very nice and wispy. There you are. These are so beautiful. They're so wispy and pretty. I really like them. So now I'm just gonna clean up my under eyes a little bit because I have all of that loose powder on here we're gonna move on to the face and because it's summertime and i want that glow i'm gonna go in with my matte stroke cream i really love using the stroke cream under my foundation because i just feel like it adds a natural glow for me it's best to not put this on my nose <laughs> because when i put it on my nose the foundation does not stick on there i don't know why i think it's something about the formula in my nose and just I don't know. I put it all over my face, everywhere other than my nose. So as you can see, I have like some glow going on. So now I'm gonna go in with foundation and this is the Jouer High Coverage Cream Foundation in the shade Latte. This has been my go-to foundation ever since I came back from vacation. With this foundation though, you do have to work in sections because it dries like so fast. I'm using my Morphe sponge to just blend it all out. I literally have to work in sections with this. If not, it does not blend out <laughs> because it just dries super quick. So I'm gonna start on one side of my face. I'm gonna bring it down to my neck as much as I can. Using this foundation is so weird to me because I've never been this dark, or at least I've never used the foundation this dark. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, this is way too dark for me. But then I realized like the rest of my body is so tanned. So it's just that I'm not used to my face looking this tan. So I was so close to returning it, but I really love this foundation because it gives me such high coverage and it lasts me so long. Like I could probably wear this foundation for 24 hours and it won't budge. I also really like this sponge. Even with this like dark shade, it still doesn't fully match my face, but I mean my body, it's still like a little light, but I'm not going to go any darker because my face is already so much whiter than my body. So I might as well just keep it that way. It definitely matches my neck just not my arms, because my arms are so tan. So now I'm gonna move on to concealer, and for concealer, I'm using two concealers. I'm using the Morphe concealer, this is in the shade C2, and then I'm also using the Born This Way concealer, and this is in the shade Almond. So I first like to start off with the Morphe concealer, because this one is a little bit darker, and I'm just using it to conceal. As you can see, it's not as bright as I usually go, so that's why I like to go in with the shape tape and put a tiny bit under there. Because I really like having bright under eyes. I feel like that really makes the look, um, and it's just something that I'm used to. That's why I use two separate ones, because one of them is for concealing, and the other one's more so for highlighting. I really love this sponge, because I can get into those corners. So I'm just blending hard here. So now we're going to go ahead and set, and I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Setting Powder. This is in the shade Butter. I like to apply this setting powder with a brush, and I've been using this setting powder for a lot of the summer because I needed something that was going to be sweat proof and really like, you know, not crease on me. I like it because it kind of smooths any texture and imperfections under the eyes. If you have not tried this 
loose powder and you're on the market for a new loose powder, I highly recommend that you try this one out. Now I'm gonna set the rest of my face with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is one step in my routine that I do every single day. Even when I just wear no foundation or when I just wear concealer, this is like my baby. And I just like it because this also smooths out your texture so it gives you that nice canvas. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin and I wanna show you guys this bronzing brush that I've been using. I don't think it's a bronzing brush. It's called the Small Tapered Brush from e.l.f. and it looks like this. It's been my absolute favorite to bronze my skin with. By the way, I'm using the Hoola by Benefit bronzer. And do you guys see that? Like, it does contour, but it also looks effortless and looks like very like blended. I'm also gonna bronze up my forehead a little bit. To kind of emphasize my contour a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and bake right below where I placed that bronzer. And it's just a small little bake, nothing, nothing crazy. Just like, just to create like that shadow. And then we're gonna move on to highlight. I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighter. This is the one with Am Reezy. And I don't need to spray this one, which I like ever since I started using this Morphe R36 brush for highlighting. I really like that because it's just one last step. I'm not gonna go ahead and apply liquid bronzer like I usually do for like my everyday summer because this is more of a glam look. I'm just gonna apply that on the top of my cheeks. That's cray cray. I love this highlighter. I love this highlighter because it's so diverse. Like, I wore this highlighter for my wedding, but I also wear it every single day, like, for my everyday type of makeup. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to blush. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use my everyday blush, and this is the Tarte Blush and Party. This blush is like a taupey rose blush, which I like, and I think will go good with this look because I don't want to apply too much of a light blush because then it can take away from the, from the rest of the face. So I'm just applying a small amount on the apples on my cheek and then dragging it upwards okay now i'm gonna finish up the under eyes i'm not doing anything crazy i kind of want to keep it a little bit natural under there so with the matrimony palette and i'm using the shade matte lopez and i'm just gonna apply that under here on the lash line and then to intensify it just a little bit in the mac kumon shade which is like the red wine shade that we used for the crease and i'm just gonna apply that on the outer part of the eye so now i'm gonna go in with mascara and i'm using my l'oreal telescopic and i'm gonna apply this all over the top lashes and also on the bottom lashes i also want to cover up my lash band because I just, that's like one of my pet peeves. I don't like my lash band showing. So I'm using this Kat Von D tattoo liner and I'm gonna use that to cover up the lash band. I'm not doing like a wing line or anything. I'm just literally doing like a straight line and as close as I can to the band. Yep. Now the last thing is the lips. I'm going to use this Morphe lip liner in the shade Bite Me. It's a very dark lip liner, but I'm going to but I'm going to brighten it up. This is so dark and grungy. I'm going to go in with this lipstick from Maybelline. It's in the shade 545 Beige Fabe, and I'm going to apply this on the center of the lips. This is going to really like wake it up. <laughs> I really like it. But I do think that I want to waken up the lip a little bit more, lighten it up a little bit. So what I'm going to do, even though this is like my perfect nude or what I feel like is my perfect nude, I just feel like with this eye look, I need something that's a little bit lighter. And I'm going to apply some concealer onto my lips and see what that does because I don't have a lighter shade than that. So I don't think anything's going to work like that. And then I love it. I don't know if I should do gloss or not. No, no gloss. So this is the look. So that's basically it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you enjoy makeup tutorials, lifestyle videos, faith videos, all that good stuff. I post every single week, so make sure you subscribe so you stay tuned with everything else that I post on this channel. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.
Here's a mess. You got it, you got it, babe. And you're wonderful. Because as soon as you hang up, then you call right back.